Kimbo Slice, an icon of mixed martial arts whose legend began at the very epicenter of the internet era. His story is not just that of a fighter, it's a tale of strength of spirit and an unconventional path to fame. He soared to the heights of popularity through YouTube videos that captured millions of hearts and inspired fans worldwide, earning him the title of Internet Fight King by Rolling Stone. Behind his imposing appearance was a talented fighter with astonishing striking power and unwavering charisma. His story is a captivating journey from the fringes of the internet to the arenas of mixed martial arts, where he became a symbol of strength and determination. Kevin Ferguson, better known as Kimbo Slice, was born on February 8, 1974 in Nassau, the Bahamas, but moved to the United States in his childhood and grew up in Cutler Ridge, Florida. Ferguson was raised alongside his two brothers and his mother, Rosemary Clark. He attended Bel Air Elementary School, where at the age of 13, he got into his first fight while trying to defend a friend. Ferguson continued his education at Cutler Ridge Middle School and then attended Richmond Heights Middle School. He studied at Miami Palmetto High School, where he excelled as a star linebacker. In 1992, his home in Perrine, Florida, was destroyed by Hurricane Andrew, forcing him to live in his 1987 Nissan Pathfinder for a month. In 2005, Slice began training in martial arts at the Freestyle Fighting Academy under the guidance of Marcos and David Avalon. Initially, Slice trained exclusively for street fights, focusing on techniques practical and useful in street combat, including dirty boxing with an emphasis on elbows and so on. Later, he started showing interest in MMA. Slice made his MMA debut against former WBO heavyweight champion and Olympic boxer Ray Mercer at Cage Fury Fighting Championships 5 in Atlantic City on June 23, 2007. A month before the fight, Slice changed camps and underwent training under former MMA fighter Boss Rutten and boxing instructor Randy Katami at Rutten's school Elite MMA in Thousand Oaks, California. Slice made his MMA debut against Mercer at Cage Fury Fighting Championships 5 in Atlantic City on June 23, 2007. The match was scheduled as a three-round bout following all professional MMA rules. Slice defeated Mercer via a guillotine choke at 1.12 in the first round. He's to get him inside control. How about, look at this stuff. Who would have said it would be Kimbo on the back of Ray Mercer in his guard? CFFC Fee sold 20,000 PPV, which was quite substantial. I got him caught him in the guillotine, and before it gets done, we wouldn't believe it would have ended. And again, in an interview after the fight, Slice expressed interest in fighting David Tank Abbott. Abbott, who was in the audience, stood up and accepted Kimbo Slice's challenge, thus stirring anticipation among the audience for a future match. One of the CFFC matchmakers asked Slice, due to his confidence, if a fight could be arranged on October 12th at Cage Fury Fighting Championship 6 between Slice and Tank Abbott. However, this event was later canceled. On October 11, 2007, Pro Elite announced signing Kimbo Slice and his debut scheduled for Elite XC on November 10, 2007. Initially slated to make his professional MMA debut against Mike Bork, a reformed street fighter, Bork's shoulder injury led to Slice fighting Cantrell. Slice defeated Cantrell in 19 seconds in the first round due to a flurry of strikes on Cantrell. On February 16, 2008, Kimbo Slice faced Tank Abbott in the main event of Elite XC Street Certified. He won by knockout at 43 seconds into the first round. His weight for the fight was declared at a record low of 234 pounds, significantly less compared to his weight in street fights at 280 pounds. On May 31, 2008, Slice participated in the main event of the first-ever primetime televised mixed martial arts competition, Elite XC Primetime. He fought James Thompson and secured a controversial victory in the third round.
Left hook, gets it. Another uppercut. Thorough. Right hand. Oh, and it's over. Following this fight, Brat Rogers, a fellow Elite XC fighter, criticized Slice's win, referring to Slice's performance as garbage in an interview after the fight. Frank Mir also criticized Kimbo Slice, stating in an interview that every time Kimbo Slice fights, he sets mixed martial arts back. On October 4, 2008, Kimbo Slice was set to fight Ken Shamrock at the Bank Atlantic Center in Sunrise, Florida as part of CBS Saturday Night Fights. However, Shamrock suffered a cut above his left eye during warm-ups just hours before the fight. Subsequently, replacements were sought for this bout, with options including Seth Petruzzelli, Aaron Rosa, and Frank Shamrock. Slice's team stated they didn't want him to fight Frank, regardless of the money offered, so they decided Petruzzelli was the best choice for the main event. Slice agreed to take the fight after a pay increase and received $500,000, Petruzzelli defeated Slice by technical knockout in 14 seconds in the first round of the fight. In a radio interview on Monsters in the Morning two days after the fight, Seth Petruzzelli claimed that when they offered him the main event slot, Elite XC promoters offered him compensation to dissuade him from using certain fighting methods against Slice in an attempt to protect their star fighter. This created a lot of controversy around Slice as the main attraction for CBS and Elite XC martial arts masters. The Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation initiated a preliminary investigation into the events surrounding the fight and its outcome. However, Petrozelli retracted his statement a few hours later, stating in a subsequent interview with the MMA5WantsUsOfPain.com website, that his earlier comments to the monsters were misinterpreted. On October 23, 2008, the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation concluded its investigation into the fight and found no violations. By the end of October 2008, Elite XC was forced to declare bankruptcy. Many in the mixed martial arts community, including Jay Thompson, an executive consultant for the company, attributed Elite XC and Pro Elite's downfall to Kimbo Slice's loss to Seth Petruzzelli. After Elite Extreme Combat ceased operations, Dana White stated that if Kimbo Slice wanted to compete in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, he would have to earn his way in by defeating opponents on the Ultimate Fighter television show. White mentioned that he could create a heavyweight show specifically for Kimbo Slice if he desired. This statement turned into reality on June 1st, when Kevin Ioli from Yahoo.com announced that Kimbo Slice would participate in The Ultimate Fighter Heavyweights. The show's coaches were Quinton Jackson and Rashad Evans, both former UFC light heavyweight champions. Kimbo Slice was Rampage's number one pick and the second overall pick. In his first fight on the show, Slice was defeated by Roy Nelson, due to the fight being stopped after a knockout in the second round, following repeated head strikes and Slice's inactivity. Later, Slice declined the opportunity to take Matt Mitrione's place in the quarterfinals after it was revealed he had health issues, specifically arthritis in his knee. Slice fought Houston Alexander on December 5th, 2009, in the Ultimate Fighter finale, weighing 215 pounds. The battle, anticipated to end in the first round by many, oh, nice movement. Good. extended to all rounds, and Kimbo Slice won by a slight margin through a judge's decision. On May 8, 2010, 
Slice made his pay-per-view debut and official fight in the heavyweight division at UFC 113 against Matt Mitrione, losing by technical knockout in the second round. Kimbo's a tough warrior, man. He doesn't have to strengthen his legs to do that. He just collapsed. Big knee. Gonna give it up. Mitrione in the mount. Push on that hip. And Mitrione is trying to finish here. Big Dan's gonna... Mitrione's oh arms are exhausted here. Oh. It's shown. It's it. That's it. all over! After the defeat, Dana White stated that it was probably Kimbo Slice's last fight in the UFC. His release was confirmed the next day, along with Paul Daly. On January 16, 2015, nearly five years after his last MMA fight, Bellator MMA announced that Slice had signed a multi-fight contract. He won via technical knockout in the first round against Ken Shamrock on his debut on June 19 at Bellator 138. On February 19, 2016, at Bellator 149, Slice faced Dada 5000, Dafir Harris. There was significant rivalry between the two due to their long-standing street fight legacy in Perrine, Florida. After a fight where the advantage shifted between the fighters and both seemed exhausted, Slice won by technical knockout when Dada collapsed from evident exhaustion and lack of cardio in the third round. It was reported post-fight that Slice failed a pre-fight drug test, with laboratory results revealing traces of the anabolic steroid Nandrolone. On May 2, 2016, it was disclosed that Slice settled with the Texas Athletic Commission for a fine of $2,500 and had his Texas license revoked. The fight result was also changed to a no contest. Despite strong criticism surrounding the situation, the fight attracted around 2.5 million viewers breaking Bellator's record of 2.4 million, set by Kimbo against Shamrock. In April 2016, Bellator president Scott Coker announced on ESPN's SportsCenter that Kimbo Slice would have a rematch against James Thompson in the main event of Bellator 158, scheduled for July 16, 2016, at London's O2 Arena. Slice passed away from heart failure before this fight could take place. On June 5, 2016, Slice was admitted to the hospital near his Coral Springs, Florida home. He passed away due to heart failure shortly after being diagnosed with an additional liver issue. Scott Coker, CEO of Bellator MMA, stated, We are all shocked and saddened by the devastating and untimely loss of Kimbo Slice a beloved member of the Bellator family. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. It's the best way to thank me. Thanks, bro.